In the last video, we calculated some totals and sales tax uh, for our little sample spreadsheet. And on this one, we're going to do some totals and averages for the columns. Um, the first thing I'm going to do on this is, as you'll notice, if we scroll down, we lose our headers pretty quickly. Um, the easy way to deal with that, we will go to the View tab up here on the ribbon. And there's a thing called Freeze Panes. If you pull down the little arrow and go to Freeze Top Row, what that'll do is leave that top row no matter where you scroll. And it just makes it a little easier to see what you're dealing with when you get further down. So in row number 45 here, I'm just going to click in A45 and type in total. And the first thing we're going to calculate is the total number of units we've sold. Uh, so I'm going to click in E45 here. And we'll go back to the Home tab up here. And the easiest way to do this is Excel has this auto sum feature up here on the right. You can type in the formula if you want to to sum everything up, but if you hit auto sum, what Excel is going to do is take a, its best guess at what you want to sum up. Since we're at the bottom of one of the columns, it's going to assume we want to sum up all of our units here, and it's right. Um, we hit enter. And there, it's it's done that for us. Um, same thing with unit price. We don't really need to get a total of, uh, but our total of our total, we'll click in G45. We need to get this one once again. Auto sum. It's gonna immediately. It's gonna fill in that formula for us, which is equals. Means there's a formula. Uh, if you look, there's then it's sum. The beginning and the end of the range of cells that it's going to add up and if you scroll up that's exactly what we want we're going to hit enter now because we did this Excel assumes that we want to fill in the bottom of the sales tax here with the formula we used for all these in the column which we don't want to do so we're going to hit auto sum there. Once again, it fills it in, sum in the exact range we want, and hit enter, and there. Next, in row 46, we're going to want to do an average, just so we can get a quick look at the average number of units we've sold or the average price we're getting. It doesn't fit in as well with this data set, but it's it's something you're going to need to know how to do. So for average, you can type in average if you want to in the formula bar. But if we go back up underneath the auto sum, if you click the arrow, average is the second one down. And once again, it's going to fill in the range for you which is right until we get to the total. We don't need the, that total in the average. So there's a couple ways to do this and I'll show you on each one. Um, on this though, we're just going to click in the last one and then hold down the left mouse button and drag it all the way to the top and hit enter. And that gives us the average number of units we sold per transaction. Um, we'll do an average price. Once again, we'll click in the cell we want to use. Go back down to average. Now this time it grabbed the cell next to it instead of the cells above it. So we will once again click on the bottom here and drag all the way at to the top and we'll do the average for the totals here 
Once again, we'll do average. It once again figured everything, including the total, the total roll here, which we don't need. And so that is G45. If we want to take that out, we can drag it up again, or we can just hit backspace. And we can type it in G2, comma, G44. And it highlights the cells that we're using. And that gives us our average total. We don't really need the average for the sales tax. That's not that big of a deal. But that is it we need for the calculations right now. There are other al calculations we could do. Um, we could sum up totals by region or rep or by the item. But I'll show you in the next video a really fast way to do that by making a pivot table. So that's it for the calculations for this one now. And actually, the next video, we'll probably reformat some of this and pretty it up a little bit.